So next thing we're just gonna throw in a wheel. Oh yeah. So as you can see, these aren't this one is actually in decent shape, but for the sake of consistency, um, let's see what we got as far as product to paint with. Okay, so first things first, we are going to go with our uh, primer, but we gotta sand it down first. Um, so let's get that out the way and then take it from there. You can really see just how much um, dirt, brake dust, all that stuff came off the wheel uh, just from that quick sanding. Um, we're going to clean it real quick uh, with some wheel cleaner and some water. And then we're gonna use some a bit finer sandpaper to get any anything else uh, off the wheel. And then we're going to prime it. All right, so once your wheel is sanded, cleaned, dry, you're going to want to paint. This is the easy part. And again, easier for me because I'm not worried about the tires. So um, let's get that part done. Then I'm gonna knock the rest of the three wheels out. And then uh, tomorrow, we'll go ahead and paint. Um, just gotta wait for the primer to dry overnight. So let's get started. Okay, so we got the most time consuming part out of the way. Now we have to get the face done. Um, that should be quick. And then we're gonna get all this painted black and see how it looks. All right, so we have our high gloss lacquer paint. Um, let's go ahead and get started. I'm really interested to see how this turns out. This is gonna be pretty neat. There you have it boys and girls, about 30 minutes of taping for five minutes of painting. But um, man, that black looks really good. Um, so we're gonna let this coat dry. Do one more coat while that's drying. I'm gonna tape off the rest of the three. Try to get all the whips painted tonight. 
let it dry overnight. Tomorrow, remove the tape and then tape off the lip to paint the actual bottle cap piece of the wheel. So it's gonna be tedious, but again, I guess time invested now should pay off later. Let's see. And we are done for now. Sure. We are back. We have the wheels in black. We've painted the inside of the barrel. So, as you can see, I'm gonna bring it on the sun, see if there's any touch up I need to do or touching up I need to do. Like right there, there's an easy spot to see. Um, but outside of that, we should be able to take the tape off today. So, yay. Heck yeah, roll with that primer on black look, boy. No, but uh, I mean, it's gonna look sharp. The hardest, the trickiest part's going to be getting the tape down there off. Gotta be careful. Um, so we're just gonna snap forward to all the tape off and see what we got. There we go, <laughs> ladies and gents. Look what I found. A hobbit. I look like a troll. My precious. <laughs> so we're just gonna go with the aluminum finish. Um, should give it that nice look that, we're, that we need. Uh, yeah, let's see. I think they came out actually really good. Um, gonna let this stuff dry. One of these wheels is really pitted, um, but I mean, there's not too much I can do about that. Uh, then we're going to, uh, frick, clear coat them. Clear coat them tomorrow, so not bad. All right, it's a moment of truth. Let's start taking the uh, tape off, see what we got. your end result so I mean are they perfect absolutely not but more presentable than before I don't know you tell me let's clear coat them and call it a day and ladies and gents there you have it two-tone is after the clear coat uh, not too bad so you don't mind it Better than they were. All right, so it has been about a week now. Um, luckily, the wheels are all done, mounted on. I'm sure you've seen them in videos, but um, fast forward and got a package in the mail. I'm hoping it's exactly what I've been waiting for. Um, it's gonna be a nice addition to the bottle caps. So let's open this up, see what we got. See, and this is why you don't film inside your apartment. That's why I stay in the garage. So anyways, it is, bam, saucy, so OEM center caps, uh, I don't know if there's any stamp on these guys, let me see, so anyway, uh, yeah, these are them, some bottle cap, center caps, gee, And it came with a free couple of dolls. Four. Very nice. Yeah, you better run. So, got these online uh, through an independent seller. You know, a lot of the sales were like for 150 bucks. Obviously not gonna pay more than I paid for the wheels for center caps. So these are um, 
gonna be a super sweet addition to the wheels. And I could always throw some VW stickers on after. I'm gonna clean them up. I don't even think I'm gonna paint them, honestly. I, I might paint them the uh, aluminum color like to match the wheels or black, I'm not too sure. We'll probably just throw them on and see how they look. All right, so we're here at the wash and yes, out. Got the bottle caps all fitted up with the BMW center caps, leaving the logo on, but man, she is crusty and I'm not a fan of having a crusty car. So we're just gonna wash it real quick. And then I have one last surprise for the BMW wheels. Uh, yeah, and these aren't even clean. You know what I mean? Just a little bit more. There's your aftershock. Nice. All right, so there they are, all done. I'm not gonna do really like a montage or anything, but you guys get the idea. Um, not bad for doing it yourself. And I actually found this pretty neat, you know, smokestack, which is for some pretty gnarly footage and photos I'll be posting up. But uh, yeah, that's it. Um, and that's how you refinish a set of wheels again found them online didn't pay too much then I have the uh, valve stem uh, valve stem covers coming in but um, not going to wait to post on that you guys get the idea so until next time don't forget to like, subscribe. Don't forget to check out the Instagram page, Rides and Vibes. And I will catch you guys next video.